Hello. Today I want to talk about force as a vector. Now, vectors are quantities that has a magnitude and a direction. Now, force is a vector quantity. In other words, I'm saying that force has a magnitude and it also has a duration. Now, a force as a vector can be represented by an R. For example, vector AB can be written in this form, vector AB. This is a way of writing vectors. Now, the tail or the starting point of the vector is called the tail, while the sharp point of the vector is called the nose. Now, because the vector is moving in this direction, we call that this is the direction of the vector, while the length of the vector is referred to as the magnitude of the vector. All right? It can also be referred to as the size of the vector. Okay. Now, I will show us how to draw a vector diagram. Now, the method I will be using to draw a vector diagram is called the triangle of forces method. Now, the first thing we do, for example, is to draw the first vector starting from the origin. Then we draw the second vector from the nose of the first vector. And lastly, we draw the resultant force from the tail of the first vector to the nose of the second vector. For example, let's look at two vectors. I have two vectors here. I have uh, five newton. It's my first vector. I have a second vector, 8 Newton. And the first thing I do is to draw my four cardinal points. All right. This point right here is my origin or my starting point. Now, the first thing I do is to draw the first vector starting from the origin to my 5 Newton. I draw my first vector. Starting from the origin, my fourth vector from the origin, 5 Newton. And the second vector is 8 Newton. Draw the second vector from the nose of the fourth vector. So I draw my second vector from the nose in the same direction as given. This is my 8 Newton. What next? I draw the resultant force from the tail of the first vector to the nose of the second vector. Okay. All right. So this is my resultant force. And the angle is always towards the resultant force. This can also be called the nose to tail method. And also we call it the triangle of forces method. In my next example, I will show us how to draw a vector diagram when giving three forces. Step one, I draw my four cardinal points. Okay, that is very important. Then step two, I identify my origin. This is my origin here. So my first vector is F1, it's going towards the, this direction. So I draw my first vector from the origin, going towards this direction. This is my F1. Next is my F2. My F2 is going towards this direction. I draw my F2 from the nose of the last vector. Okay. F2. Okay, the next is my third vector. It's going this way. So I draw my third vector from the nose of the last vector, my F3. 
Now, the next thing I do is to draw my resultant, which is from the tail of the first vector to the nose of the last vector. So this is my R, my resultant force, and as always, this is my angle theta. All right, so this is how we draw vector diagrams.